Hey guys, welcome back to another ROG Ally video. Today, I want to do more of a guide on how to change the VRAM for your system. Now, if you saw my Steam Deck video, you'll see that it's pretty straightforward how to change the VRAM. And what VRAM does is it essentially takes some of the physical RAM and utilizes it towards the GPU. Now, these systems have APUs, which is a combination with CPU and a GPU, but in some instances, it allows more RAM for the GPU and that sometimes helps performance. Now it definitely varies on the game you're playing, but regardless of the performance difference, the main point of this video is just to show you how to do it. There's two ways. One is easier, one is slightly more delayed, but not difficult. So let's go with the first way. So the first way you just go to the armory crate right here. You'll go to settings. From there, you're gonna go to operating mode, go to GPU settings, and you'll see memory signed to GPU. From here, you can select what you want. So you have the option from auto all the way to eight gigabytes. Now, I don't recommend eight, just like I don't recommend one, but it really is preference. If you play it and you notice that, hey, this isn't running as well, let me try to optimize it, you can always go and change it in here. Very simple. So this is the first way. Let's hit six right here, and you're gonna restart your device so it applies those settings. All right, so after some time, the Ally restarted. Now let's go to settings and go to operating mode, GPU settings, and we'll see that it's still set to six gigabytes. So that's one way to do it. So the other way is to restart the device while holding down the volume down button. So let's do that right now. We'll go here and hold down volume down as we restart. So I have volume down, restart, Okay, now we're in the BIOS. If you're familiar with the BIOS screen, this is gonna have all your information for the computer itself. We're gonna press Y to go to advanced mode. We're gonna go to advanced, and then we'll see here UMA frame buffer size, and that's the VRAM size. So I'm not gonna go ahead and actually change it. I'm gonna keep it at six, but then once you do that, you just press the select button here to save it as the hotkeys display. But since I didn't change anything, we're gonna quit without saving, and it'll boot back into the actual desktop. All right, guys, that was just a quick little guide on how to change the VRAM size. Again, your mileage will vary depending on the games you're playing. Some games run better with lower, some games run better with higher, but I would recommend keeping it between four and six. But I don't know, if you guys have tried it out and you notice one game specifically does really good with higher VRAM, let me know. But if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you wanna see more videos in the future, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.